Hi people, I have a great new phone called Doogie T6. This is their new flagship phone or latest phone from Chinese company Doogie. I'm not, I'm not surprised to see this kind of phone because in past several months we have seen several other smartphones with similar specifications. So in other words we can say that T6 is phone with great battery life because it has 6250 mAh capacity. Stay here and find out more about this phone. Let's say a few words about packaging. So as you can see it is packed in this box except phone you will also get fast charger, USB cable and hard case oh, and of course sorry short user manual. Okay uh, talking about the design and build quality from what I can see this phone is very similar to HomeTom HD6 with small difference. Uh, the case, and I think you will also this noticed. The case in this situation is made from plastic. So let's start with the back side. On the back side, we have the primary camera and double LED flash. Here is the Logos company. On the right side of the phone we have power off on button and volume button. Okay. On the left side we have slot for SIM card. It is a dual SIM phone so you can use two SIM cards at the same time. Uh, on the front side we have 5.5 inch screen beautiful screen the front facing camera the LED notification light and three buttons which unfortunately does not have backlight it is nice phone really it is nice and the build quality is good for this price range so overall I think many people will like this phone okay uh, Talking about the screen, this phone has 5.5 inch screen with HD resolution. The screen offers good display and visibility. From every angle you can normally see the screen. As you can see. Also, the touch works precisely. No problems. And so you can see it works really nice. Let's say a few words about built in hardware and performance. Of, uh, obviously, the primary objective for this smartphone is definitely the battery and in the background falls the built-in hardware and other specifications but don't worry because the hardware is still good so it is based on quad-core CPU with 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal memory uh, anyway if the internal memory is not enough for you you can of course upgrade it with memory card, a maximum 32 gigabytes. So this is okay also. Uh, from what I can see, it has solid hardware, which surprisingly does an excellent job on any area, including gaming. So let's say let's see how games works. very popular game after many years so 
Let's play. After five years on the East Coast, it's time to go home. Let's take the bike. And let's take the car. I drive better with car, of course. So, what we can see, the graphics details are very good. Almost the same as on PC. The game does not lag. So you can normally enjoy playing. In this is very important because no one likes logging, and because this is not and that is not fun. And you can see the game works just fine. This was an accident. Okay, let's go to the next chapter. So, as I said, this hardware does an excellent job, so don't worry. Let's say, let's see just for information CPU-Z. Okay, as I said, quad-core CPU, Mali T720. 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal memory. Okay. And we can see also Anto 2 benchmark score. The score is more or less expected for this kind of hardware, so I'm not surprised. Okay, okay, about software and user interface, it runs Android 5.1 ROM and from what we can see, it is a clean ROM without any bloodware and unwanted applications. It runs smoothly and fast, also without lags and during use, I did not encounter any problems. So it is typically just the icons and little uh, uh, design is just small customized, nothing special. Okay. About connectivity and similar functions, uh, Dugi T6 it ha has almost all connectivity functions like uh, 2G, 3G, 4G LTE, Bluetooth 4, GPS and of course Wi-Fi. Uh, it supports all possible frequencies for 3G, 4G network. So all po potential customers, uh, users uh, will normally use phone in Europe. But I think and outside Europe, uh, or let's say in United States of America, so you don't need to worry. But before you buy, the, just in uh, just in case, check the information on my website for available frequencies. Uh, about the GPS, uh, if you maybe remember at very beginning, Chinese smartphones had a lot of problems with the GPS. Now it's completely different situation because GPS on this phone works great with precision of 2 meters without Wi-Fi and mobile network help. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth works as it should work with good range for stable connection. About camera, 
the front facing camera is 2 megapixel while the rear camera or let's say the primary camera is 8 megapixel which is equipped with two LED flash. Two, uh, the LED flash is pretty strong so you can normally take photos in completely dark. Uh, the photo quality is medium but this is expected also for this price range because mostly smartphones in price range around $130 have similar photo quality but if you want to see uh, what type uh, what the what quality is you can check on my website in Brighton review and finally the most important feature of this smartphone is the battery because according to the company it has 6250 mAh capacity battery and on the paper it sounds great but sometimes some companies fake the capacity and we have seen this before many times it is nothing new but you don't need to worry because this phone has battery with real capacity and from from my calculations and using the battery tester it has approximately 6000 mAh capacity so this is great and you don't need to worry about capacity also as I said in the beginning, you will get the fast charger, 9 volts, 2 amperes charger. So in this way you can charge your phone really fast, much faster than usual with ordinary chargers like 5 volts, 1 ampere. And that's it. As a conclusion I can say the price for this phone is approximately $140. Because, and this is really cheap for this kind of phone because it offers really good build quality, really nice design, medium strong hardware, really nice screen and of course the battery with great battery life and that's it people if you have any question please ask or comment thank you